the universal clock is ticking and the time measured by it in the way it works is not what we are accustomed to. Hello, buongiorno, guten tag, bonjour and marhaba. This is Mario from Forex Otherway, the channel for traders run by a trader. In today's video, I would like to show with you how you can use some elements of the universal clock which can help to improve your trading. So let's start the rock and roll. Today we are on Tuesday, February the 4th, 2021 and the market seems to search for the opposite direction over here to what we have seen since March 2020. Most traders try to determine trend reversals by drawing all kinds of support and resistance lines based on the price of any given instrument. As long as it works for you, it's okay. If we draw today a static support like, like for example, that one over here, uh, or we draw the dynamic support line like this one, let's say, over here, it will show that the market is more likely to reverse here and it shows that we are at the key point of the market. The main problem is that our support and resistances, uh, the lines are broken pretty often and we get stopped out with a loss. It might have happened to you, didn't it? The most important factor in trading, in my humble opinion, is the time. It is the time what determines the price, never opposite, my friend. The market is vibrating as everything in the universe and the frequency of its vibration is related to time, not to, to the price. So we take into account uh, when and how to apply the universal clock measurement as a perfect timing tool to our trading, we might get the indication when the market reversal is more likely to occur a part of the line drawn over here. So I've got in front of me an Excel sheet I made for myself. You might have seen it in my other videos from the past. The first line, the yellow line, it's calculating some cycles backwards. So today is today's date, uh, February 4, 2021. And here in this first sheet, I've got a Mercury cycle. So Mercury cycle length is 88 days. So I got 88 days here, double it is over here, 176, 264, 352, and so on. What's interesting over here, if you get these dates and you check them back, backwards, you will see that at these dates, most of them, some market reversal occurred related to uh, the date of today. So, so we've got 8 11 2020 let's check it 8 11 2020 was uh, here was the second here is the sixth here's the ninth so it's this local top it is exactly one cycle of mercury backwards was 8 of november we got nine over here because 8 november 2020 was on sunday Another one. Let's check another one, my friend. We got 12th of August 2020. And 12th of August has fallen somewhere. Is it this one? Yes, it is. This is the local bottom. The market reversed two cycles of Mercury before today's date. I remind you, 4th of February 2021. The market made a local bottom. So we had the top, we had the bottom. Next one. Let's check this one. We check two more or three more. 16th of, of May 2020. This was my friend when the uptrend started. So we got 15 over here and 18. So 16 was Saturday. This is 16th of May 2020. A bottom, local bottom, when all this story after the March madness started here. Two more to go and we'll finish. 18th of February 2020, oh, 18th of February, another one, just the date when Mercury started retrograding. I think it's this candle, 18th of February 2020. Look how harmonic is that. 
bottom, 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 top. And as of today, we got another. It might be a bottom. It might be. It's not necessary. We might check another one. We might check. Uh, I've got Venus as well. Uh, Venus period is 2 to 5, 225 days. Let's check it. 24th of June 2020. What happened then? One cycle of Venus backwards from today. 24th of June 2020. It is somewhere. 24th June 12, 18, 19, 23rd. 24th of June. That was just the market started this correction. Another one. Let's check it too. Let's check, let's change the color just to distinguish it. Let's make it crimson to distinguish it from Mercury cycle. Another one we can check for Venus, which is, uh, which is 12 11 2019. Let's go backwards. 12 11 19. What is it? Is 18, 12, 11, 19. Local bottom, my friend. Look over here. So two cycles of Venus from today. Backwards. So it means 450 days. The market made a local bottom. Just one day miss. So let's check another one. Would it work or not? 1st of April 2019. Let's check it. I didn't check it. 1st of April. 2019. Is this one? It is second. This one is first. So the second was here. So it might be one more day to go. So from the 2nd of April 2019 till tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, which will be February the 5th, 2021, it will be two cycles. So look, it looks like we just missed one day. So it might last this trend, this downswing might last another day. And tomorrow is Friday. We might expect, we might expect the market reversal on 5th of February, my friend. Especially that we got this uh, dynamic, we call it, it is the bottom of the channel, we might say. Some call it uh, the trend line. It's not the trend line, it's the bottom of the channel. We got as well this strong static support line over here and the market is fighting right now here. And one more thing. When you get, look, I'll show you something. 2nd of November 2020 was that bottom over here. When you put the 2nd of November 2020 in the middle of the gun square of nine, on the cross, you will find the date when the market might reverse, which is exactly 5th of February 2021, which is tomorrow. And it might be a day when this downswing will reverse, at least for local correction. I'm not saying it's going to continue this long uptrend, but at least the market might might make a correction over here. Obviously, there are some much more precise methods of calculating this kind of events. If you want to learn them, I invite you to, to participate in my private trainings online, where you can learn how to calculate it using mathematics, how to calculate tops and bottoms of the market you might have seen in my other videos. At the moment, that's it from me. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time and bye-bye.